most courageous player in the game by his peers. Earlier in the week to Isaac Heaney, tumbles one forward. It's going to be an awkward ball for Harding, and he tried to slap it to lever and end up in the hands of Papley, who's a dangerous small forward, and the Swans get the first two goals of the game. So there's Big Toby, just put enough pressure on his direct opponent, spills the ball into the corridor. No mistake. Great length to the ground. The Crows just can't move it. Sydney set up too well defensively. Crows not. Hackley, handball, Hanabry, through traffic. How little ping missed to the left. So the Crows, look at Talia now. He just doesn't look comfortable on his feet. He's fighting hard, trying to stay out there and find a way to compete, but he just doesn't look right. Lynch, Lynch, a little bit this way, decides he wants to go back inside. Good smother on this occasion by Papley. Papley grabs the ball, through a bit of traffic. High ball. Here's Sloan running same direction. Great Mark Jack. Plays on. Keep pace there with the lightning quick camera, and they come back through the corridor, the Swans. Man out here is Lloyd. Didn't Hardigan get over and give him a big slap on the back? Said, thank you, Charlie. I need all the help I can get down there. A buyer. Das, go forward here again, Sydney. They're not done with in this quarter yet. Two minutes remain. Richards has looked dangerous up there. Spills to Patley. He's a sharp shooter. Got it. Sydney responds very, very promptly. Big play, Sydney Swans. Tom Patley. He's become a dangerous small forward option for... Side of here, Brody Smith. He did. G. Jacobs coming. Did he get him head high there? Advantage, advantage. If he yep. doesn't get up, he may well be in a bit of trouble. The advantage pay goes inside 50. Patley takes a jump. His thighs, if you like. And yes, he did run into the elbow, but Patley, 30 metres out to put a little nail in early, early in the final quarter. So Patley kicks the goal. He's a big celebrator, isn't he? He's got three here in this game tonight. Only positive might be. We spoke to Kurt Tippett pre-game, and he's confident he'll be available next week. The boundary line thought about nothing else except getting it in someone else's hands. Richards couldn't hold the mark. Patley's in there. Richards again. Got the little handball. Bad bounce. Nan Kerbis picked up goal. Was that Patley again? Yes. Wow. Patley's kicked four. What a night for that young man, Tom Patley, just his 18th game of AFL football. As Richo said, a career-high four goals tonight in the final. And they love it, his teammates. Tried hard, but never really looked likely. Here's Patley again. He's sensing a little bag of five here. Through K, big Naismith. Big night now, Parker, slick hands. Comes back to Hewitt. Laidler. And it lands in the lap of little man, Tommy Patley, who's had a career best. And I think he's... <laughs> saying, I might go back and have a think about this one. Surely not. And he's going to pop it up. And Curvis, surrounded by winning possessions. That was number 43. Little hurry kick out of there. Oh, that collision was nasty. That's Patley. I'm seeing get back up. There's a clash of heads. And on the sign, it's the Sydney Swans. Who goes through to another preliminary final? They'll face the Cats at the MCG on Friday night. Yep, they will indeed, Dars. Friday night football is for Sydney prelim final.